Diamonds in a beautiful bastion. Diamonds have been this is RuneScape. You might not necessarily recognize what's going on here. I don't recognize what's going on here, and that's just fine. I uh, stumbled in here for the most part, uh, found a whole bunch of people, people uh, I don't know, revolver ocelotting at a portal. Uh, and so I'm just here to help. You can level up some skills, either summoning or magic by doing this. Obviously a temporary thing. Uh, we'll see how long it's around. Uh, I'm not going to complain, and in the interim, pew pew. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and talk about uh, some game industry um, behaviors I've been seeing, uh, and just give some of my thoughts on it. Uh, I know that there are some big things in the news right now. Um, there's uh, Fallout 76, and it's kind of lackluster reception. Uh, there are a lot of critiques going on there, and I might go ahead and do something on that at some point. Um, but now is not the time. Um, there's also Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 uh, that has recently come out. People are very excited about that. Um, and there's almost a contrived um, sense of uh, conflict between Fortnite 2 and Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 in terms of which deserves or needs to be Game of the Year. <coughs> and I find the entire comparison to be somewhat wanting. But again, that's another topic for another time. Uh, what, uh, what I wanted to talk about was some of the um, developments in um, company structure that occur when a company gets to a certain size. Um, early on, most any game company that doesn't have a lot of passion for what they're doing um, probably is not going to make it. Uh, a lot of business... Uh, can sometimes run on hopes, dreams, and the electricity company forgetting to turn off your building's power uh, because you're just that desperate to try and make it work. Uh, that changes over time. With success comes money. With money comes uh, a need to invest it, what would seem wisely. Then you hire marketing people. And those marketing people are really, really good at making things sellable. Um, now, uh, over time, they, they keep bringing in more and more money, and uh, you have investors. Oh, now you have investors you need to take care of. If you're not taking care of those investors, they'll stop investing. Yes, I agree. So, um, what you do is you end up having your marketing people end up in the higher level structures of this gaming company, uh, and marketing people are perhaps not passionate. I'm not saying that they are incapable of being passionate, it's just that they're not maybe passionate about gaming. They might not be passionate about um, the company vision. What they might be passionate about is making sure that they're bringing in lots and lots of money for the company so they'll keep being hired to bring in lots and lots of money. Um, investors are motivated by this as well, and so you have marketing people end up in these higher tiers, kind of choosing the direction of the company. What's really, really important at that level is that you protect brand identity. Now, if you have something, oh, say, Fallout, as a brand that you get to, to toss out and trot around a little bit, you want to make sure you keep it in the ethos, in the mind of the peoples. That's good. That's important. Keep, keep that trotted out there. Uh, the thing is, if you haven't been feeding it, and it's just been keeping it in the barn the entire time, it's gonna look terrible. It's gonna just emaciated skeleton horse ricketing its way around the ring, and that's what you're showing off. You've still got the horse. It's a great horse, and when you decide to start feeding it again, it's gonna look fantastic. Um, but right now, I, I'm taking you out for a marketing stroll. This isn't about you being a good horse. This is about us reminding everybody that we own this intellectual property. Maybe, last game, we didn't get the nerds riled up enough. So, this, this round right here, let's just go ahead and remind them who's holding the reins. Um, and I like, to, I like to frame it in a very condescending fashion, because I want to assume that these execs are making lots and lots of money. They are. Uh, and are looking down at the gaming community as more plebeians who need to give them their money as opposed to their customers and, you know, the member base of their communities, um, which I would like to frame them as personally. But hey, this is just me using leading phrasing to make everyone <laughs> look bad, besides myself. But then again, don't I get a good old pat on the back for being so honest about it? Look at me go. Um, that said, uh, I just wanted to kind of recognize for a moment that a lot of the uh, decision-making process that's going on 
for Fallout right now, uh, for a lot of these games that have been the brand getting trotted back out. Assassin's Creed is another fine, fine, fine example of this. Uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, they're, they're trotting the horse out for everybody to see, and they're just waiting for everyone to care enough, I guess. That, that has to be it. That's the only thing I can imagine. Um, uh, but the other, on the other hand, what it does is it also flies completely in the face of what I consider to be the conventional w wisdom of higher tier companies like that, where it's, it's not the matter that um, I have this property, I should be putting out the best possible product. <laughs> I mean, my product is going to be my namesake. If every time I drop out a product, it looks like an emaciated horse, people will stop buying it. Right? Um, and, and that hasn't held true yet. And that's why I'm starting to question some of my own uh, internal philosophies as to how economies work. Uh, I, I have this vision about how things would work, and then they don't. And so that's just, I think that's the lesson we're going to take from this particular get-together, all right? Is that when you think you've got everything figured out, maybe pause. Take a second, look around, and go, oh, hey, things are kind of wonky. Um, so to the game companies going through all this right now, I totally get it. You have my sympathies. Please stop. To everyone who's making all these assumptions right now, gosh golly, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Uh, I would love to have kept a straight face for that, but uh, it didn't get to happen. Oh well. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and pop over here, say a big old thank you to these people. These people make these streams and videos possible. Thank you very much. We can't do it without you. With that, it's been real. It's been fun. I'm going to get you guys on the flip side. Take care, everybody.